The search for survivors continues after Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed overnight after being struck by a cargo ship. And former President Donald Trump's Truth Social site will start trading publicly today. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. There's a mass casualty event underway in Baltimore, Maryland. A large section of a major interstate bridge has collapsed into a river. A container ship leaving the port of Baltimore hit a pillar of the Francis Scott Key Bridge overnight. Maryland Transportation Secretary Paul Wiedefeld says authorities are searching for a construction crew that was doing bridge repair work. We're basically searching for, for everyone that was potentially on the bridge. As you can imagine, it's the middle of the night, you know, you know, what type of traffic was there, uh, how many workers were there. Workers, you know, they obviously come to a project, but other workers show up sometimes, so that's what we're investigating right now. Two people have been pulled from the river, and one of them is in serious condition. Baltimore fire officials say sonar reveals there are vehicles underwater. Maryland's governor has declared a state of emergency. The FBI says agents from its Baltimore office are on the scene, but officials say there is no sign terrorism is involved in this disaster. Former President Donald Trump's social media company will start trading today. The listing of Truth Social could value Trump's stake at over $3 billion. NPR's Rafael Nam has more. Truth Social is losing money and has very small revenues. But the company's owner, Trump Media and Technology Group, has a valuation of billions of dollars. Trump Media will trade on the Nasdaq exchange after merging with an already listed shell company. Many of Trump's devoted supporters are expected to own and trade the stock. That could provide the former president with a big windfall. He owns a majority of the shares. Although Trump is not allowed to sell his shares for another six months, he could find ways around that. Trump faces a number of legal cases. In less than two weeks, he will have to post a bond of $175 million. Rafael Nam, NPR News. Russian President Vladimir Putin is acknowledging radical extremists were behind last Friday's terrorist attack on a concert hall outside of Moscow. It left 139 people dead. Russian authorities have already charged four suspects from Central Asia. From Moscow, NPR's Charles Maines has more. These were President Putin's second public remarks since Friday's massacre and came amid a public meeting with top officials. We know, Putin says, the crime was committed by radical Islamists, but we're more interested in who ordered the attack. Putin suggested Ukraine had the most to gain and repeated claims the gunmen were detained en route to Ukraine. Putin also questioned why the U.S. was in a rush to prove there was no trace of Kiev's involvement when the investigation was ongoing. Two weeks before the tragedy, the U.S. shared intelligence. An assault by extremists on a public space in Moscow was imminent, claims Putin later dismissed as fear-mongering. Charles Maines, NPR News, Moscow. Federal authorities have begun searching properties in Miami and Los Angeles that are owned by hip-hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Combs has been accused in several recent lawsuits of sexual assault and sex trafficking. From member station WLRN, Veronica Saragovia has more. Officials haven't said whether the searches are related to any of the allegations against Combs. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security says agents from New York had executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from Homeland Security investigations units from Los Angeles and Miami, as well as local law enforcement partners. On Monday evening, a van with flashing red and blue lights blocked the entrance to a mansion Combs owns in the exclusive Star Island neighborhood of Miami Beach. At least two officers held dogs on a leash outside Combs' Star Island residence. For NPR News, I'm Veronica Saragovia on Miami Beach. This is NPR.